Wait, wait, wait. Take a bite of National Giant Hardo. Nothing comes close. How do you, Hardo? Bread and patty? Bread and butter? National Giant Hardo bread, baked with national pride. Talk of You is powered by National Baking Company in association with Cranwasa, a Stanley and Empress production giving the youth a voice. Talk of You, Miss Effort, Talk of You. And so we come to know these youths and show these youths. Talk of You, tell the youths to know them roots. Nurture them, protect and love and hear these youths. Use to make them know I love we show these youths. Mr. Save the youth, that kill the youth, that talk of you, that build the youth, that trick and fool and build the youth, that talk of you, that build the youth, empower and then skill the youth, that talk of you, that build the youth, talk of you, in Jamaica, we are kill the youth. Today's topic is masculinity. What does that mean? Masculinity is the term for the characteristics that are traditionally thought to be typical of or suitable for men. It is important to look at the notions that are fueling our young men's actions. Looking at statistics over the years, Jamaican males are central to both our high murder rate and problematic sexuality. In a Gleston study of sexuality, 64% of Jamaican boys admitted to intercourse before the age of 15. How have the ideas of what it means to be a man changed from generation to generation? Let us explore the pros and cons of male stereotypes, labels, and popular male attitudes in Jamaica. Hopefully the voices of our talk about advocates here today will assist the society to rethink, understand, and advance a national and international conversation on this topic, masculinity, leading to a healthier, stronger, and more prosperous male population and their for country. Talk up youth, Miss Effie, talk up youth. My love on We have to build the youth, the heart of youth in Jamaica. Alright, so my issue with masculinity is that the man them nowadays, them now are showing any emotions at all, isn't it? When you grow up, you have your wife, when you start quarrel. You never cry when you're little. So all that emotion, what you get right at that moment, you're going to take it out on her. She's going to call police. Why, was, why, that, why all of that happened? Right, it goes all back to the point that you never cry when you're small. Everything come out one time. The cup overflow. You don't have no more space to build up. You see me? My thing about being a man in today's society is all about the fact that there's high expectations, no real pros, except um, unless you can look for biological pros, right? And far too many cons. When we talk about high expectations, when I was much younger, I found myself like surrounded by mostly females in my family. Um, while growing up, my mother, it looked like she was looking to me to be that rock, even at the age of 13, 14. And I feel like that's a little bit unreasonable. I don't know anything about the real world and uh, Throwing these high expectations off me just because of my gender, right, is very unfair, right, especially since I have no real experience at that point in time. As a society, we have not done enough to help our males to actually go through life. We do not motivate our males, and we see that they're not, they're not motivated to actually pursue tertiary education, and that affects them. Even currently, we have 70% of the university population being females, so only 30% are males. And what that does, it basically, it increases the unemployment level of males that we have in society. It, and the males, they're unemployed, what they do, they resort to other means to actually earn a living. So they'll resort to crime and violence, they'll resort to other scamming and other means that are not illegal, and they're not basically what we would want as a society, and that's negative, and uh, I don't believe that male masculinity is at the place where it should be currently. So my problem is with the rigidity um, with which we uh, enforce masculinity in places, many places in Jamaica. And I believe that restricts uh, a lot of Jamaicans socially, uh, a lot of male uh, Jamaicans socially and economically. Uh, for instance, um, my, my friend Ricardo talked about um, uh, the violence that it, might, that it may cause because what happened is that the males aren't able to, to, to express themselves in a way um, as females are allowed to. And so what happened is that they resort to, to, to a more masculine way of expressing 
um, love and stuff like that, with, through, which is through violence. And you see also it limits them economically because females are going into, venturing into all areas of businesses and stuff. Uh, but um, what we have is males, they are, they are limited because they don't want to do this, man can't do that, man can't do this, you know? So we're limiting ourselves and, and that can be a good thing, you know? Now, masculinity is the cultural construction of manhood. No, I believe that masculinity negatively affects our society because one, it limits a person placing them in a box. For example, a man is not involved, fully involved in the nurturing of the children. I mean, a man does not change diapers. A man does not wake up at night to feed the baby. A man does not change the clothes of the child. It is a common thing that basically you are not seen as a real man unless you have enough girl and girl in a bungle. Now that is a real issue because you don't see females going around having many, many men all, uh, all over the place. This is as a result of masculinity, which basically teaches men that they need to be dominant, they need to stand out. So they believe that they must prove themselves. They must prove that they are strong, that they are powerful. And that is a real issue in our Jamaican society. And we need to put a stop to it. What she actually did say, I have to agree with. The whole situation that men have to showcase this huge level of bravado and machismo, this one-upsmanship, this dominance. You know, you have to put on a face in the streets trying to act all bad and tough. Like, the world is on your shoulders and you can crush it any time you feel. You know, you are unstoppable. When in actuality, if you go home, you might just not be that. You might just be a normal individual, but on the streets, you have to be this tough guy. You know? And it's kind of rough because, I'll admit, I'm a person who's very much in tune with his emotions. So, I'm not going to like say he's a bad man. I'm not a bad man, I'm a big man. So, my reality is, I have to be faking it on these streets all the time. And it's an epidemic, of course, it's all around the world, but me as a Jamaican living in Jamaica, it's crazy for me, because I have to mean mug somebody if they look for me funny. I have to make sure I say, Nobody now try to style me or school me. Well, I can't wait to discuss all my issues on masculinity in Jamaica. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Oh. We have to build the youth to have a youth in Jamaica. Mmm. There is no other bun like this one. The flavor is so good. Who say bun can sweet? Oops, mind you bite your finger. National Spiced Buns, baked with national pride. My woe moment. My woe moment. My, my, my woe moment. Kind of what are we woe? That's my woe. That's my woe. Yeah. yeah. What are we doing? What are we doing? My woe moment when I get the highest massage. That's my woe. What, what are we doing? When we get 16 at Mats, I'm gonna never expect so much. That, that's my woe. Kind of what are we doing? When we school over, I'm gonna get for the hammy hat. That's my woe. What are we doing? Your future come first, talk the truth, talk the truth. You in a cocky suit, one that's go, oh, oh, oh. If you want to be cute, want to be cute. Try get the high grades, get high grades. Get high grades in your brain. And nothing like your lungs is straight by IV. Don't plan your vision with smoke and let the bus tell your friends them to stop doing. Criminalization don't mean it legalized. You can still be penalized. Why you penalizing your lungs with ganja? Hey, hey, be wise. Youths, know the facts. Follow us at Drug Free JA. Brought to you by the National Council on Drug Abuse. We have to kill the youths to have a mute in Jamaica. Earlier, we were some um, very interesting points, right? And I spoke on how the expectations for being a man is um, very high, right? There's not many pros and the overwhelming amount of cons. The bar is high, right, for being a man. And it, 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 it's, it should be. Right, because a man does have certain things that he should live up to, but I believe that the reason why he's not doing that is because of the ins insufficient amount of role models. So, of course, men are taking up more of a um, feministic type, um, type of role simply because you know, it's, they didn't necessarily have that um, father figure, so the mothers are now teaching them that, hey, all right, you know, you know, learn to cook. So, of course, no woman can tie you down. When you said that, there's a lack of role models. I don't think there is a lack of role models. It's just that there's a lack of good role models. You know what I'm saying? There's a whole heap of them actually expressing the same thing as you discussed, the infidelities and the, the misogynistic ways and all them look at something there. 
And that is, it's been drawn out through the test of time from generation to generation. Because if you look at the predominant character traits, you know, people being aggressive, men being aggressive, men being dominant, egotistical, the whole bravado thing. I don't believe that masculinity has no positive impact whatsoever. We do not understand that this gender bias issue has existed long before racism. I mean, b it, b before the beginning, we as women were, were, were taught what to do, how to dress, how to behave. So are you saying that there should not be any um, clearly defined rules between man and woman? Because, of course, you know, the, the, the man, of course, you know, um, if we look at the Bible, he's usually seen as the head of the family, and the woman is the neck. I'm not saying that one, of course, one should call the, um, on the other, or one can't necessarily do what the other says. I'm saying that is that there is, of course, a, side, a bit of coordination between the two. When I was much younger, I'm talking like um, th four, five, six years old. I cried a whole lot because of this. Everyone will always be getting up and saying, you know, he never turned out to be a proper man. He'll always be a crybaby, a weakling, never be a true man. He needs to grow up. All right, we'll take it from you right there, so. When we're smaller, like same, about the same age as you are, even up to high school, first form, second form, I cry for everything, you see me? You talk to me too hard, I meet that over there, so I ball. You can't tell me, say, you couldn't tell me, say, I'm a girl them time, they are, me I have them less, I'm, I'm less manly than you, but me just, it was the way I grew. I grew around, the, basically the only man in, the li in my life was my father. Mm -hmm. Then my, the, my family, woman. Woman of all age and size. You see me? Yeah. So nice. when, you see, when you see me start to take up them crying something they know, that no means say, me less of a man because me are crying. No, just, just, me just know if it, release my emotions, you see me? But that can be disadvantageous to you because our society, we dictate that males are supposed to be rough. Our songs, or basically social media, all different types not, of media, not, not that's what we do. You. I'm not disagreeing and with you. And females will look down on you if they're, you're crying, like, why are you about yes, for? I mean, you know. how are you going to protect me if you're just crying away? Precisely. What do you mean by disadvantages if I'm actually seeing females that want a guy who can be in touch with his emotions and say, I'm having this problem, let's you, talk it out. You can, you can be, you're supposed to be in touch with your emotions, mm -hmm. but when you're going to be there just crying, crying for everything, I mean, that's going to get to me like, what are you? You're my sister, no, you're my boyfriend. Don't you believe it's fair for every person, regardless of their gender, to say, okay, it's time for me to become an adult, it's time for me to stop crying, regardless of whether you're a male or a female. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I believe that basically no role should be limited to any sex because, I mean, we should learn to be be independent so we don't, for example, if I don't have a man, guess what? I can fix my sink, I can fix my car, I can pay for my own money, I can pay for my own things. And if you are, and if you are, and if you are a male, guess what? If you are a male, guess what? You can cook, you can wash the clothes, guess what? You can take care of the children without me. That's what we need. Many males, for example, when their spouse leaves, they cannot take the emotional pain. So guess what? They get angry and guess what? That leads to gender-based violence. But how many women have you seen going around killing men when they leave? How many women are mentally strong? We don't need men. We can be independent. We should not be brought down it's, it's because not of matter, our It's gender. not a matter of being mentally strong. It's a simple matter of being able to show that bit of emotion, right? If you get up and you're feeling that pain and you kind of hold it in year after year after year, that pain starts, that pain starts to fester into anger. Them teach us, you have to be strong. Yeah. Bad man not cry. Yeah. Me, me, yeah. me take this to heart. Me start telling myself, say, yo, man a bad man. If you see me upon the road, you can't want to come rush me too hard. Exactly. Is that actually yeah. you, though? Right? Is that actually yeah. you? And, and, and that's the thing, like, would, that was a put, transformation. Put condition, right? yes, yeah. I put that in my mean. mind already, you see me? All right. So, whatever you've seen right now, mm -hmm. I don't mean to show you. You can't, yeah. you can't come say you see me and cry upon the road now. But at the age of about, what, five, six years old, right? I'm in my father's office. There was a man that came in, looked at, looked at me, and started to threaten me. Of course, he was joking around. He knew my father, but I didn't know him. I started um, starting to cry. Right? And then my father will come in and say, why are you crying for you being, a, um, you being an idiot? Of course, I'm not going to touch you. How am I supposed to know that? Right? Of course, if the scenario was switched around to another female, of course, she's justified to cry. No, I'm looking at you and telling you, so right now, nobody can touch me. 
right? Of course, I've learned to be that strong. As a matter of fact, going through KC, it hit sixth form. That was the time, that was the period in my life I decided to grow up. If I have to be that man, if I have to be that rock for myself, I'm going to have to be that strong. Of course, that kind of hardened me a whole lot. I right, distanced that myself from certain situations. I don't like the rock and, 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 and that's what forced most men into just not being able to even talk to their spouses. It's, it's really bad for society currently because, I mean, males, they're so rough and all of that. And it annoys me as a female, like I'm on the all road right. and you're calling to me and because I don't look back. You're going to abuse me. Hey, and call me names. I'm like, no, that's crazy. I was telling my grandmother that, um, Mama, you know what say, me not believe say we're supposed to wash, cook and clean as woman. Me just can't be that with that because, I mean, look honey, why if you wash and cook and clean? And the man, them, they're they not doing anything. And you know what my grandmother told me, she tell me say, Sandy, you see, if you don't wash, cook and clean for your man, you're not going to get married, you're not going to get no man. And I want to know, is that the society that we live in? If we don't wash, cook and clean for no man, we not get no man, let me tell you something. We don't need any man. We can be independent. That's what I have to say, women in Jamaica. We don't need men. We can be independent. Really, Sandy? We don't need a man. I don't understand what you're saying. I mean, men, they're integral in our lives. And you cannot say that. And not every man believes that you have to wash, cook and clean for them. Men have different views. Some men, they don't want you to do it. They will help you. So you need to yeah. basically, I'm sure some of our gentlemen on the panel, our gentlemen on the panel, they won't mind helping with the cooking, the washing, the cleaning. What needs to happen is that you in your household have to say, well, your, your role is this, your role is that. It doesn't have to be traditionally that you're going to, as a male, you're going to fix the light bulb or whatever. You know, it, it should be something that you decide in your household who does what, you know? It's a man's world, yes. No! But, but these yeah. women are, hold <laughs> on! Yes. It's a man's world, yes, but, we'll but these cool women on. are stronger, women are stronger. But what you need to realize, you know, human beings are creatures of emotion and connection. We need each other because we were created for each other. So, of course, we need each other. If you're going to look at me and tell me you don't need me, we are going to do. We really are going to do. Without a man in your life. It's just all women everywhere. <laughs> men don't even want all men everywhere. So what you talking about, man? Listen, men, men and women are like this. For a woman, yin and yang, a, me and a woman, a woman is my rib. You feel me? So... To a woman, I'm going to be a rock. I'm going to be that strong person that's going to hold her down all the time. And yeah. she's supposed to be that person to lift me up all the time. Yeah. You feel me? Well, you so it goes like hand in hand. Man. Everything is interconnected. Well, you sound, you sound like a real man. My father showed me that the best way to really get along with women is to not really exercise dominance like that. Mm -hmm. It's to actually try and understand them. You know, when you understand a woman, then... How to treat her good is like customary. While we're on the topic of masculinity, can a man just be friends with a female? I can no. say so. Yes. I can Actually. say so. Listen to me. Actually. I can say yeah, so yeah, because yeah, yeah, I have yeah, a few yeah. female friends that are actually, they're, they're like sisters to me. A man and a woman can't, um, can't be friends because, simply because there's always going to be that one person that likes others. So if you're not the one that likes them, they're the one that likes you. At some point in time, that. it's going to make things awkward. That. Because even if they do, they, um, because, you know, where do you think the whole, the whole, idea, the whole concept of friend zone comes from, yeah. right? And you feel like you're being stuck into it. We have realized that masculinity in terms of our socialization and how males view females and females view males, it's also in our education system. Our males, they are marginalized in the education system. Our curriculum, it's basically geared towards female progress. The males, they are more kinesthetic. What kinesthetic mean? Okay, <laughs> kinesthetic. It basically means hands-on activities. Practical practical work, you know, touch and feel and all of that good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I do kind of understand where you're, going, you're coming from, right? Because some careers are, you know, gender-based, right? Of course, you know, they believe that um, a certain man should do this and, a certain, and, and females alone should do this, right? For myself, personally, I kind of always had this thing where I usually laugh at male nurses, right? I, um, my sister's a nurse, whenever she told me that she has a male friend that's doing the same major, I'm like, you know, this is not questionable. Me personally, I don't necessarily have an issue with that though. There's nothing wrong with a, a male being a nurse. I don't, I don't see where that's an error. There, there, there's an issue, but I'm just saying like there is a stereotype around when it comes yeah, to careers and educational like, paths. If, right. say, for instance, more want a manicure and a pedicure. If I'm going to a nail salon, I see a man. I do nails. I turn back in the Because, not time. Because not you're time. a male. Not if time. I go in and I see a, um, a male doing manicure and pedicure, I won't turn back. I mean, that would be... That are you. That are you. My joints are killing me. 
want a massage. I'm going to a massage. If me see, me want a man to rub my body. That's no, Reggie. Right. No, Reggie. No, Reggie. No, 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 but that's that, 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 he don't want a man to touch him up. That's, I mean, that's, that's what he did. Right, but guess up. what? It doesn't defeat the purpose that a man can take up a certain no. job or a career that a woman can. I don't it believe really that. Matter. A doctor, when you go to a male doctor, you're not going to walk out if it's a, well, a male doctor. You're not going to walk out. So you, you see the standard there? You go to a doctor, you won't walk out. And the doctor might even touch you in more intimate parts. And you know, so I don't see where that is a problem. I agree with, I agree with Nicholas because I actually did food and nutrition. And I mean, for C-Sec, and I mean, couple male students in my class, I mean, I tell us it. I am a female, and I tell her when them the meal, they go to cook up some stuff in the kitchen and I bun up, me bun up everything when I cook. So I can't tell her basically we really can't limit people. I'm going to take like, a quick excerpt from what I read from a book called um, The Way of the Superior Man by David Dela. Now, with the masculine, um, he describes it as those macho traits or that aggressive trait um, within someone. And the feminine as more of um, yeah, a little gentle, more go with the flow. Kind of, um, kind of individual, you know, what's usually associated with women. Some men generally have this masculine energy and a little feminine, right, which of course helps us to get in touch with our feeling, feelings, right, but of course gives us that strong stance. And, and most women have that whole fe um, feminine thing about them and have that slight bit of masculine energy. So that they of, of course they know how to provide for themselves. But then you have the flip side, right, where women of course are, they have that, you know, overwhelming masculine energy, you know, that bit of aggressiveness, right? <laughs> and dominance, of course, that, that we saw. And, you know, and some men have that feminine energy. I'm not saying that, and when we're looking at this, I don't want you to think of it as, you know, um, being a lesbian or being um, gay, right? We're, we're looking at as simply just being like, you know, the way he decides to like approach life, right? Like for instance, you, you see more like the soft-spoken type, right? You know, you're not, you're not that aggressive. And you know you don't usually push forward a point, right? You you, you wait for your turn and you, you hit it. While Pretty of much. course she, she forces her way through. What usually happens in society is that we constrain the masculine energy to men. So of course, you know some men of course um, grow up and they're not that forceful. So we, we think he's gay, he's weak, or he's pathetic. Not because a man is in touch with his feminine side yeah. means that he is gay. Not because a female is in touch with her masculine side means she's a lesbian. Yeah. There's nothing wrong. I mean, I can be rough some days, mm -hmm. and then tomorrow I'm the same way. I mean, we are well, Felicia, variety in your, op in your opinion, necessary. In your opinion, how far do we go? How, do we stop at, um, okay, well, males should wear rompers, you know? Where, how far do we go? <laughs> How far do we go? Yeah, and, and, and that's the thing, you know, right? When you when you look at the masculine and the feminine um, energy and everything like that, like you know, is is there a limit? Is there somewhere that you know I'm a, um, a line that a man should not cross when it comes to? Well, I wouldn't wear a romper, or no, or would I wear a weave? But but like to me, masculinity in my household, it's not as rigid as as, as maybe some of you might describe on this panel. But it is it is something that I learned through um, just observing my father and you know um, seeing how he behaves. And masculinity, it, 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 in, in Jamaica, it, it, is, it, is, it is more rigid and it is, it is perhaps uh, uh, more problematic when it's too rigid, you know? To me, masculinity in my household, it's not as rigid as, as, as maybe some of you might describe on this panel, but it is, it is something that I learned through um, just observing my father and, you know, um, seeing how he behaves. And masculinity, it, 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 in, in Jamaica, it, it, is, it, is, it is more rigid and it is, it is perhaps uh, uh, more problematic when it's too rigid, you know. For many people, it means something different, you know. And you can't, you can't just say, well, this is the universal definition of masculinity, you know. We just talk about a whole lot of stuff, man. but we are going to a break, so we can talk about solutions right after this. We have to build the youth, the youth in Jamaica. Mmm, there is no other bun like this one. The flavor is so good. Who say bun can sweet? Oops, mind you bite your finger. National Spiced Buns, baked with national pride. My whoa moment. My whoa moment. My, my, my whoa moment. Kind of what are we whoa? That's my whoa. That, that's my whoa. Yeah. yeah. What are we doing? What are My whoa moment when I get the highest massage. That's my whoa. What, what are we doing? Let me get 16 
I'm mad so me never expect so much that, that's my world. I don't want to with the world. When school over, I'm gonna get for me heart. That's my world. Water with the world. All right, the way for solve this is man them. Talk to the youths. Make them know say nothing wrong if you have emotions. You can carry feelings if you want, doesn't mean. So if, if I was a father and you know I had a child growing up in today's society, I'd usually I look at him and I'd say, you know, I have to teach him those morals, those values, those principles that I believe that he should have to be a good person. Right, and believe that he made those right decisions, right? Because you know, it's not you don't always have to be Superman, right? You could strive to be Superman, of course, if you want to, and of course, if that aligns with who you really are, right? But just those constraints, you know, those limiting constraints, you don't have to be. Like. It's kind of hard to shield um, you know, young people away from certain things, but if you can look at them um, within the household or just even at school and say, you know. Yes, that's, that's out there, but I've been down that road and that road's a dead end. So come back and you know, here's, a, here's a better way. We need more social intervention programs. Programs that are in the communities that will help our youth so that they can understand that they have a purpose in society, our males, they have a purpose to quell the problem that we have where males are not motivated to succeed. Males are not motivated to self-actualize. We cannot have that perpetuating throughout our generation. So an example of how we can actually involve our males more in the education system. We we have currently where we have the chalk and talk method of teaching, where you basically come and you write on the board and you talk. We need more practical, more hands-on, some more experiments, let them develop things. And we, we are basically developing innovators. And if I develop something in high school, for example, in a chemistry class, I'm there and I'm working with hands-on things and I develop something, I'm going to be fascinated and I'll want to continue this. I'll want to basically go to university and basically develop this and basically succeed in our society? Well, I don't think there's a single remedy to solve uh, any of the, all of the ills that we spoke about, about masculinity and the rigidity of masculinity um, uh, here today. But I think one of the main ways in which we can uh, quell some of these, pro uh, some of these problems is, um, is through, through, through education, both the informal and formal, formal structure. And I hope that with the, like, the internet, we'll be able to expedite such, um, such learning processes. Um, when we can see different cultures and refine the way we think about masculinity. Maybe, just maybe, if people took more responsibility for what it is that they put out, you know, the, my dog, they have to live, and the, you know, bad man not do this, bad man not do that, there might just be some kind of camaraderie, some kind of unison where we're not always after to put on this mean mug we not always have to do the most to try to prove that we're the baddest thing out here and nobody fair to try to mess with it. You know, because at the end of the day, like I said, we are all human beings, we're creatures of emotion and connection. So we should be able to connect with one another. We should be able to talk to each other like we are humans. You know, not like we're some complete strangers. We shouldn't be some savages and some numb individuals to one another. Because cold world just makes room for a hot hell. Parents should basically teach their children to be independent, not to so much depend on each other. So for example, a boy, he must can cook, but guess what? He can also fix care. Girls, she can wash, but guess what? She can also fi fix care too, you understand what I say? And also, I'm saying that, yo, females, don't take no manhandling for no man. Because guess what? If we, the females, reject their behavior, we reject their abuse, guess what? They will have to change it. Because guess what? Women are in control. We just have to take the... You know, I definitely care. agree with you. Because, you know, this is like a public service announcement, basically. You see, men need to do this right now. They need to cut out the double standards thing. Because that kind of mannerism is ridiculous. You have a sister a female cousin, a mother, a grandmother, auntie, whatever it is, you have a female in your life. Why is it that you're going to look at this female like, you're my heart, you're definitely someone I love and appreciate and care for, and then you're going to look at the next one and be like, oh, she ain't nothing, man. It's like, what, 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 what's, what's the meaning of that? How is powerful. that really something that you can progress that off of? Powerful. That is precisely why Whoa. women, even across the world, 
we look at Jamaicans, men, Jamaican men as aggressive or stubborn or ignorant or misogynistic or just all the way dis disconcerting and distasteful. That is a stereotype that we have managed to actually deem accurate because we are acting that way. So we need to we need for just cut out this double standard thing. All women are women. Real women should be treated as such. Now, sure, yeah, if you see a, if you see a woman who are going a certain way where you can't really appreciate, then you just fall back. You know, if we're going like, hey, dirty, blah, 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 blah. Cut that out, man. You ain't got to do that. For real. Show respect and appreciation for human beings. We're all human beings. So, just cut the double standards, for real. I definitely agree with what Nicholas just said. We need to cut out the double standard. You have heard what the different youth had to say about masculinity in Jamaica. And now we'll hear what a different youth has to say about masculinity in a dub poem. Maybe it's the way that I was taught to walk, or taught to talk, taught to wear my manhood like my clocks. With every step, see I was taught to evaluate my woman based on what's best for me, not what's best for we. Can she cook? Can she clean? Is the closet between her empty enough for me to hang my insecurities? Maybe it's the dangling meat that hangs between me and my female counterpart determines who was born to lead. Maybe it's the way that she follows her scriptures and society's norms that forms the idea that her role as life giver shouldn't be seen as important as me and my masculinity. Wait, you see masculine, feminine, 52 gender indifferences, the irony, how the measure of one's character was once a ruler named melanin. See masculine, feminine, agendas to lessen the emperor's energy, empower the empresses, I believe is the remedy. Now it makes me think, are the efforts for equality really genuine? I am me, and not who they tell me to be, masculine. Talk of You is powered by National Baking Company in association with Cranwatha, a Stanley and Empress production, giving the youth a voice.